God is arising in his church today. In Hebrews, it says that God is a consuming fire. You know, and those that are with the Lord, those that are walking with the Lord, those that are walking in His love and in His Spirit, they are on fire. You know, He has a fan in His hand and He says, I'm going to come and I'm going to fan the flame of, of myself. Who is He fanning? He's fanning Himself. Can you see that? God arising in His church. The church on fire. The glorious church. You know, it says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 27 that He is going to come back for a glorious, radiant church. A holy church. A church that's blameless. A church that's on fire. A church that's radical. A church that says, I am steadfast in the Lord. This is what the Word of God says, and this is what I believe, and this is what I walk in, and this is what is coming to pass. You know, the church on fire. I see that. I see that in my spirit so strong. I see the flames coming. I see the fire raging. Uh, because we have been given much energy and much power through the Holy Spirit. You know, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, it says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And that's from the King James Version. That's how it reads. We have been given that power. We have been given that dunamis. We have been given dynamite on the inside of us. But see, it's Christ in us, the hope of glory. It's none of our doing, but God is, is fanning himself. God is a consuming fire, and he is rising up in his church today to, to destroy the works of the devil. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. As we get up in the morning and we put our feet uh, down on the floor, the enemy should say, oh no, that she's up. Oh no, he's up. And because it's judgment on the head of the enemy when we allow God to arise in us and our enemies be scattered. So, if you have anything in your life today, any sickness, any disease, any depression, any mental illness, any uh, financial difficulty, let me tell you something. Let God arise. Let that fire arise in you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the called out ones. We are the church. We do not go to church. The church goes to a building. Just get that in your thinking. Let me encourage you today. Let me challenge you today to let God rise up in you. Let that fire rise up in you and the works of the enemy shall be destroyed. Thank you for viewing. God bless you.